Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me I guess but I wanted to make this video because I want to update you guys on something that is going on in my life currently. Sorry I'm putting lotion on my face. Um, I just made a, an appointment to speak to a surgeon so it's like officially in the works. I have the ball rolling and my appointment is I believe January 15th. Today is January tw or today is December 27th. Um, it is a Friday and I am off of work so I'm gonna get ready to go out. I don't know what we're doing just yet but we're gonna be doing something. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and um, start doing my eyebrows. For this part, I'm not gonna film just because I still need to do my eyebrows like super, super close and I don't have like a mirror. So I'll be right back when I have eyebrows on. So I think um, it was in my update video, I said something about ending up in the ER about a year ago, which I never really made a separate video on. So this is going to be that video. I'm going to explain to you guys what happened that day, why I went to the ER, and why I'm t in the works of talking to a surgeon. So it was about a year ago, I had just started my new job, or the job that I'm at right now. Um, I had been there for about two weeks, and I was roughly about two months postpartum since I had had um, Finn. And it was... I, I believe it was like October 20th. Um, I remember because Kelvin and I were having like some pretty rough problems at that time. Um, and we were just starting to make up at that time. Um, so we were, we were on talking terms. Um, we were, you know, civil with each other. We were um, trying to work things out. And it was a day when I got home really late from work and we both got worked that day, I remember. We did not have time to make any dinner and we stopped by and we're like, well, let's just pick up some fast food and we'll eat fast food today. And we ended up having um, Del Taco. I remember because I always get or always used to get the flatbread tacos from there. And I didn't think much of it. We always, um, well, not always, but we would get that pretty often and I like Del Taco, they have really nice crinkle cut fries. <laughs> we ate dinner, we got home, we put Liam to sleep, we put Finley to sleep. We both had to work the following day. It was regular dinner and then when we went to bed, we probably went to bed early that night because we both had to work so we probably in bed by like 10, 10 at night. And at that time I was still, well I'm still breastfeeding now but I was waking up pretty regularly at night because um, Finn was eight weeks old so he was breastfeeding literally all the time so I remember getting up probably around midnight and feeling like cramps um, in my abdomen and I thought it was weird but um, when you have a baby honestly everything hurts and you don't know <laughs> you don't know what's wrong um, and it takes a while for you to feel back to normal so I wasn't sure if um, my uterus was still contracting if um, I was gonna be getting my period soon or what the deal was so I didn't really think anything of it because it was it kind of felt like cramping so um, like period cramps, so I, I didn't I didn't think anything of it. I went back to bed I probably woke up like two hours later around like two in the morning with this Really bad pain. It was in the same area my lower abdomen like right here <laughs> I'm gonna be using the conspiracy palette to get ready guys. I'm gonna go in with this color so you can see I've used a lot of it um, <clears throat> I woke up at two o'clock in the morning and my parents live with us so I tried to kind of go back to sleep because I was like, what's going on? Like maybe um, I'm having like heartburn or something. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what the problem was. So I just 
honestly tried going back to sleep which did not work at all um, until finally I woke up Kelvin and I had to tell him like hey like I feel so sick right now I have this really bad burning sensation it feels like burning pain I don't know how to explain it but it's so painful so he got up and got me some ibuprofen and some water and I took it and he's like oh it's probably just something that you ate but um just go back to sleep so we went back to sleep or well, we tried to go back to sleep I could not fall asleep I kept tossing and turning and at this point the pain level was so bad I dare compare it as early labor um, cramping um, or contractions it was so severe that I had to tell Kelvin I don't know what this is but something is really wrong I, I feel like I'm dying. I, I really, I remember telling him that. I really felt like something was wrong. And the thing is, I didn't know what was wrong. So that also was kind of freaking me out because the pain was so severe. The ibuprofen wasn't working. I couldn't move any which way because the pain was getting so bad that it was hurting um, on the back of my shoulder blades. Like the pain was penetrating through. So I couldn't even stand up straight, you guys. Like it was so bad. I was literally crouched down telling Kelvin, like I think we need to go to the emergency room because I feel so, so, so sick right now. So because my parents lived with or live with us, I ended up waking her up. I ended up uh, telling my mom like, hey, um, I'm gonna go to the emergency room. I feel really sick right now, you know, just casually, three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, are you okay? And I was like, I don't know what's wrong, but we're gonna find out. So uh, we probably live about 10 minutes, if that, away from uh, the hospital where we are closest to and Kelvin actually works there. Um, so we um, rushed there. We got there in probably under 10 minutes because at that point I was pretty much almost screaming. I was really trying hard to remain calm and keep my composure, but at that point it was really, really hard. We get to the hospital, um, we check in, and at that time I remember it was flu season. It was so bad that the hospital had a tent outside of the emergency room because they had so many patients. So <laughs> um, we were like, holy cow, this is going to be a long night. We both had to work. I think Kelvin had to call off at that point. Um, I called off. I sent. I ended up texting my boss at that point like, hey, I'm in the emergency room right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to come in <laughs> um, because I just got admitted. I don't know when I'm going to be seen. Um, and I'm probably going to be super exhausted <laughs> um, So I'm not gonna be going into work um, He didn't text me back till 7 o'clock in the morning, which is understandable because I literally texted him like at 3 o'clock in the morning I'm like forgetting to do my makeup because I'm talking so much <laughs> And if I have a lisp, it's because I have Invisalign in Check-in with the you know person at the check-in <laughs> counter and she ends up telling us like yeah the wait's gonna be like really long and your copay is two hundred dollars so i was like oh okay <laughs> this is a fun trip i'm dying and this lady wants me to give her two hundred dollars okay cool i think i got taken back within like 15 to 20 minutes for them to take my uh, blood pressure for them to just do the quick asse assessment um really quick at that point, I was screaming. I did not scream when I had Finn. I did not scream when I had Liam. I was in a lot of discomfort and, you know, obviously I'm giving birth, but I was never like screaming. I was literally screaming from the pain. I was asking for pain medicine, anything to take the pain away. It was so bad. I was hunched over because I couldn't even stand straight. It felt like I had to maybe poop, but also, like severe burning my shoulder blades were killing me it was just something that i can't possibly put into words but i do not even wish that upon my worst enemy they said it was acid reflux so they give me like this calming thing that's supposed to counteract the acid um that did not work at all so i feel like it obviously wasn't that they gave me the pain medicine that did not work at all either and i don't know if they ended up deciding to do an ultrasound because 
I was screaming from the pain or if um, they did it because they noticed that the medicine that they had given me to counteract the acid reflux and it didn't help at all um, that they decided to um, do a ultrasound but they did an ultrasound that day um, I think by 8 o'clock in the morning I had had all those tests done but because it was so saturated and it was so packed at the emergency room I did not get my results until 1 o'clock in the afternoon um, and I was waiting in the emergency room in my pajamas with Kelvin like rubbing my back um, we kept getting heat compresses from the nurses um, every like 20 minutes because I feel like they would lose their heat like super quick and he was with me super sweet super amazing husband of the world <laughs> with me throughout that whole time and we found out at one o'clock in the afternoon i think my pain subsided around 11 in the morning so from two o'clock in the morning all the way till around 10 i was in this severe pain i finally was able to find a comfortable spot around eight but if i moved any which way i was in severe pain again quick break my friend got me the live tinted um colors for christmas thank you danny <laughs> they're supposed to be like color correctors and i've been using them they're actually really nice but i'm actually the lightest color perk but they're basically supposed to really mask any dark circles or any scarring stuff that you want to get rid of so i'm going to be using that today to um get rid of some of my imperfections but anyway i ended up finding out around one o'clock in the afternoon that i have gallstones and that is what was causing um the severe pain in my abdomen that is what was making my shoulder blade shoulder blades hurt like bitch. i guess your gall your gallbladder uh produces a liquid called bile and it's supposed to help you break down fat uh, so i guess um the del taco <laughs> was too greasy or something i think the scariest part about going to the emergency room was having that severe excruciating pain and not knowing what the flip was wrong with me because at least with child labor you you know that you're experiencing this severe pain because you're bringing your child into the world right you broke your arm you know you're having that pain because you literally freaking broke your arm but the fact that i was having this pain where i literally felt like i was dying and i had no idea what was wrong was beyond scary it was so so scary i'm gonna put foundation on i know this might be a lot of makeup for some of you but i really love full coverage so since then, I've had, I think that year, I had another episode when I had pizza, same severe pain. I've noticed that um, heat really, really helps me. Um, I still um, had some medicine left over from my surgery when they removed my um, ganglion cyst on my wrist. And I was taking some hydrocodone, which is the narcotic that they gave me. Um, that would make the pain bearable, but I could still feel the burning sensation from the uh, my just my gallbladder cramping up. Um, so I have had a few more episodes since then. I, I would say about like almost 10 episodes where uh, and it always happens at night after I have dinner, which <laughs> sucks. It's never happened like for breakfast or after lunch. It always happens at that time, like clockwork. It's, it's really scary. So I try not to eat so late. I try to not eat greasy foods <laughs> as much, which is so hard because literally all the good foods that are out there are greasy. I just recently had an episode actually I think it was Christmas Day because I had to go to work the next day. I was Christmas Day. Um, I had a an episode. We had birria, <laughs> which is like basically goat meat um, in this stew with rice and cilantro and cebolla. And it was so bomb. And I went to bed. Kelvin and I both had to work the day after Christmas. So we went to bed pretty early, I want to say. I had the pain again. <laughs> I got the pain. And I didn't want to wake up Kelvin because I didn't want him to call off the day literally after christmas and i didn't want to call off the day after christmas so um i was literally in bed in just agony like i was crying i didn't wake up kelvin because again i didn't want him to 
be all this manado and super tired at work but i was ironing like cloths because i said um, the heat really helps so i was ironing cloths um little towels and i was putting them on my stomach and that was helping it a little bit but i was still in a lot of pain i was literally crying i threw up because i was so nauseous and i finally just came to the conclusion just crying alone <laughs> in my bathroom saying I can't do this anymore like I I can't keep experiencing this pain and just dealing with it because it sucks like it sucks like it was literally the holidays I couldn't even eat anything apparently because I was in such agony and I'm getting sad just thinking about how I felt yesterday I went to work I felt so nauseous all day I didn't eat anything because I was terrified that I was gonna have the pain again and um I ended up telling Kelvin, do you see how awesome that works? Like the dark circles are gone. So I told Kelvin yesterday, uh, I was like, hey, today, which is this morning, uh, I'm gonna call to schedule an appointment with a surgeon because my regular doctor actually had put in an order. I went to go see her on the 12th because I had had an episode probably a month ago today. And after Thanksgiving, I think it was like the weekend after Thanksgiving, and I wanted to get a refill on the pain medicine that was given to me for the um, for my wrist surgery because that does help a little bit. But yesterday or the day before yesterday, you guys, I was in so much pain. It literally did nothing. I could still feel the throbbing pain on my shoulder blades. I was nauseous. I was throwing up. It was just really, really bad. I finally called today this morning and I was like, uh, I need an appointment. <laughs> You guys, you guys gotta take this thing out because your girl is dying. So, um, they told me that, um, yeah, they had an opening for January 15th. So, I'm gonna be kind of filming this process, but I wanted it to, um, just kind of tell you guys about it so that you guys know and are up to date real time with me and know why I'm going to the hospital, why. I'm going to get seen and you know the sucky part is that I've actually been met with a little bit of negativity when it comes to me getting the gallbladder surgery I'm not gonna say who but there's been a few people that have told me like why like you should try changing your diet you shouldn't have to get your gallbladder removed but at this point it's like none of those people go through the pain none of those people are experiencing the pain or having to deal with me like Kelvin is <laughs> at two o'clock in the morning crying because I have severe gallbladder pain. So if I have the insurance that can cover it, if I can do this for myself, then why not do this? Like, I mean, people have surgery all the time to get their boobs done, to get their face fixed, to get butt implants, like, and that's all cosmetic surgery. Why wouldn't I get a surgery that is going to relieve me from pain like that doesn't make sense to me like that's kind of where i'm at um there's only a few days left of 2019 and i we have a lot that is uh, is coming our way so um calvin just applied to university so that he can uh, finish up his engineering program um so hopefully he gets accepted <laughs> that's on yeah that's one of our goals um another one is to pay off our our debt it's really really bad um and then overall just um just be happy i know that um i've been having a hard time just being happy because i get frustrated and i get desperate enjoying my life right now because I want to be successful, I want to have a house, I want to be debt free, I want to be able to give my kids all of these things and I'm just not there yet. So I've been feeling like super frustrated because um, you know I have friends that I've graduated with in high school and you know we're still friends on social media and I see them post like oh I just bought a house or oh I just graduated and all of these milestones and I'm just here <laughs> and I feel like I'm doing nothing but 
I have to just kind of do a reality check and remind myself that um, how far Calvin and I both have come, that everybody's goals are different, that, um, you know, our stories and our life is completely different. I have two kids. Um, they don't. Uh, <laughs> and we are doing a lot better than we are or were seven years ago. So we definitely, we have grown. Um, we've matured a lot in some um aspects and we are moving forward so i just kind of have to remind myself that it's okay it's perfectly okay to not or to not compare yourself to others all right sorry i just put on my eyelashes i feel back to my normal self <laughs> i love using the kiss lashes i pretty much wear lashes almost every single day because i hate my natural lashes which is probably terrible for you but i just feel naked <laughs> without my um, false eyelashes. So more importantly, um, my my actual goal goal is to challenge myself to live in the moment and um, appreciate um, appreciate where we are and see how far we are and live in the now and not be so hung up over um, where I want to be and where we're going because that's also kind of a sh crappy way to live because you know I'm, oh, I'm constantly thinking of how happy we're gonna be when we reach our goals I'm constantly thinking of uh, what I can do to make more money um, and that sucks because I feel like these moments are when Liam and Finn are kids and they're forming their childhood memories that is my goal live in the moment and stop worrying about the future because the future is going to come whether i want it to or not whether i'm ready for it or not and the future is going to come and i'm going to regret missing out on all of these moments that i have right now with the kid thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will talk to you guys in the next one Always alone. Um, um, you will always be the um, um, always alone. Um, um.